Hey everybody, it's Dana. Um, um, this is not really a, I don't know, I guess a very happy video or anything. But I know I haven't been recording in the past, oh, I don't know how many months. Um, according to my last video, I think it's like, wait, eight or nine months ago. Well, I was planning on releasing or doing a video uh, in June, I believe, but some stuff kind of happened, uh, some very stressful stuff, um, things that just kind of put me down, that just kind of depressed me, and I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with anything, I just, I don't, I don't know. Then in July, some more stuff happened, and once again, I just, couldn't once more and then <sighs> August it was the same thing I did kind of you know stop tracking I stopped you know cooking I stopped doing all that stuff uh yeah I did gain some weight I gained like nine pounds in the the nine months which is not bad which I end up I'm losing again um but I do plan on coming back with some videos I just don't know when Especially not after what happened uh, the other day. I know I kind of look rough, but there's a, a reason. So, August, my cat Jam, um, I think he's in one of my videos uh, with his twin Foley, and I think I have I have four. Well, I had four cats. There was Lily, Zoe, and the two twins, Foley and Jam. Um, in one of my past videos, I did a haul. Jam was trying to reach for something I had in my hand. And he's he's the little one that likes to see everything you got. Got to stand up on you. Got to grab what you have. He must see it. Even if he doesn't want it, he just wants to see it. Well, August, he got sick. Uh, I think it was a cold. It came off across as a cold. Uh, which I was like, oh, I... I didn't know cats can get a cold. I'm like, that's that's cute. You know, he's sneezing, got a little runny nose. He was fine. Um, it ended up circulating between all the cats. They all caught the cold. They all had the sniffles and the sneezies. Uh, September, he got the cold again. Um, but he was fine other than that. And then in October, he just stopped eating. He just... He started making this weird sound, which later came to be uh, the equivalent, I guess, of a person saying, ow, ow, ow. Um, but it was worse. Like, this was excruciating. Um, he just didn't want to eat. He stayed hiding. His tongue was hanging out of his mouth, which later uh, he was running a very high fever. Um, he was given some antibiotics, he was given a steroid, uh, I had to give him some medication to give him for a whole month. He picked up, he started eating again, he was putting on a little bit of weight, and then at the end of October, once again, he just stopped eating again and started all over again with not, you know, feeling well and running a fever again. In November, we took him back to the vet. Uh, he was not given a steroid. He was not given antibiotics, even though he was running a fever. But I was given a buttload of medications to give to him, which he did not take well at all. He would drool it out. He would kind of spit it out in a way. So he wasn't getting the full dosage of anything. It was so hard to give it to him. Uh, but I was giving it to him every day twice a day he was taking like three to four different medicines um then i want to say in december i brought him back again uh because he ran out and then obviously the vet wanted to see him again and i told him once more i said he's not really taking the medicine like he should well he has these ulcers in his mouth uh really bad it was so horrible looking <laughs> his twin playing with Zoe um it was so bad it was so meaty it was horrible 
and it was so hard for him to eat and that was the reason why he didn't have he had an appetite he just couldn't eat because it was so painful to swallow and even if I did soft food he still wouldn't so then I had to go with the even softer food which is the pâtés that worked for a bit and then I guess swallowing it was just because even if he wasn't eating he was just grooming it was hurting him uh, so in December he was given a stronger steroid and some antibiotics and a fluid shot and he picked up he was back to himself again he was eating like he always did he was playing he was running around he was being his little rude boy self he was just he started talking I haven't heard him talk in a long time he was just, it was, I was like, oh my God, I got my Jamie pants back. And then in January, once again, he kind of started declining again. So I got him to get another shot, another steroid shot. And then he was back to normal again. Well, in February, obviously, uh, I can't just keep giving him steroid shots because he can later on get diabetes and then eventually die from it like my Georgie did. Well, I was told the same thing for Jam, even though I really, really, I really kind of wish, I'm sorry. This is really hard. So, okay. Um, so, the beginning of February, we were told that he would have needed to have his, all of his teeth extracted from his mouth with the full extraction surgery, which... I know that sounds horrible, but if his quality of life was supposed to be better and for him to eat, he was only two. If he was to eat and be himself, even if it meant he had a special diet he had to eat, that's fine with me. You know, it's a little sad, you know, and I, always, I make little jokes saying, oh, he needs little cat dentures, you know, I'm like... So we were to go to a specialist on the 7th of February. <laughs> Well, Baton Rouge, all the exits were all shut down because there was this really bad accident and there was a lot of, uh, the roads were blocked up for 10 miles and I guess they just didn't want to add more traffic, so we had to cancel. We had a new appointment on the 14th of February, which was also our anniversary because we got married on Valentine's Day. And we drove all the way to Baton Rouge. We saw the specialist. The specialist ended up looking in his mouth. Uh, and he confirmed, yeah, he would need the surgery. Um, we were like, all right, let's 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 do this. Let's get the surgery. You know, we set up an appointment Monday, the 17th. Uh, 7.30, we, we couldn't feed him uh, after midnight. So nobody was able to eat, sadly. Uh, in the morning, he was, you know, he was himself. He was walking around. He was patting me on my shoulder to get my attention. And I was rubbing on him. And he was purring. He was all happy. We brought him to the vet to have, you know, his surgery. We paid extra for them to run the test to make sure that surgery will be good for him. You know, that he'll be fine and he, he won't be reactive to none of the you know anything that they give him he cleared everything he you know everything was fine uh after i want to say lunch time they were able to start a surgery it was gonna be a three hour surgery and by the time 3 30 came around the vet called my husband's cell phone normally the nurse or the receptionist calls not the vet and I just didn't think anything. I just thought, you know, he was super excited that the surgery went well. And that's why I called my husband. And that's the, the case. Come here, come here, come here. So this is Foley. Uh, Jam is his twin. But Jam had was smaller than him. And had a much more baby-ish kind of more cute. Uh, Jam was also the more... Uh, serious one. Foley is the goofy one. He's trying to play right now and he <laughs> was doing things. So at 3.30 I'm trying to, as you can tell I'm distracting myself. Uh, so at 3.30 we got a call 
from the vet and he told my husband that the surgery went fine all the teeth everything was removed everything went great they were stitching him back up and they were about to wake him up he stopped breathing uh they tried everything they tried resuscitating him and he just didn't respond he just he just didn't wake up <laughs> so we it, <laughs> we ended up he was only two <laughs> it just <laughs> I'm sorry about that I'm back I had to pause it because when I cry, it's a very ugly cry. Uh, so I asked him to please cremate him. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be getting that back. But it's like I'm angry, but I don't know who to be angry at. Because, well, there's really no one to be angry at. Our vet did everything he was supposed to do. He The test all came back clear that he was fine. He just... We're at a loss that... What happened? You know? If all the tests came back fine, what happened? Why did he just stop breathing? Why didn't he respond to anything? He was only two. And I can't stop thinking about all the little things he he did. He has so many little quirks. I kept trying to catch him one video, but <laughs> he just wouldn't. He just wouldn't. You know, he would see the camera and just stop. He was always constantly staring at me, and he would give me the little, I call it the kissy eyes, but it's, you know, them saying I love you and stuff. And... <laughs> I can't stop thinking that I'm like, oh, he was waiting there the whole time with little hunger pains, you know, waiting in a place that he was scared because he was so scared to be there. He was by himself waiting almost all day. I don't know. It's just, I can't, I have these what ifs, what if, what if, and I can't stop with the what ifs. I still have questions on why, I, why Georgie had to be, why he declined so badly two years ago in this. The twins were, after Georgie passed away two two years ago, we had gotten the twins from an animal shelter, and they had so much they went through. Even in their little, when they sleep, they have nightmares, and they're constantly crying and, and twitching, and I always go to wake them up, you know, and comfort them, like, hey, I don't know what's the bad dream of, but y'all are fine. Y'all are great here, and Foley has abandonment issues you know well, i call them issues but he doesn't like to not see me and his brother he is he is just now noticing his twin is not there he is just now realizing that where's my brother you know he's looking around for him i could see you know i could see his little face that he's kind of like you know where's jam you know when when Jam's not feeling good, he would go snug his brother. His brother didn't play with him. Jam didn't play with Foley. You know, Foley always played with Zoe, which is what they're doing right now. And plus, I don't want him. He's going through something, too, because him and Jam bonded a whole lot, too. And he normally never has a cat who likes him a lot. Foley likes him, too, but Foley is more of a mama's boy. Jam liked me too, but Jam always snugged with him, and he always wanted a cat that did that, and Jam gave him, you know, that, so he's kind of, he's going through something himself. I'm really sorry this is being a longer video, <sighs> but I really need to talk about it, and I wanted to let everyone know, you know, <laughs> why I've been gone. I'll get into another video in the future on the, basically, the bull 
BS that happened over the summer, which you'll be thinking, oh, this is ridiculous and petty. It was, but at the same time, it just, it dragged me down and it just, it depressed me because I didn't do anything and this person was aiming their anger and were bullying me through messages because they were angry at someone else that was my friend and they had problems with my friend and they were taking it out on me. And it just, they apologized recently, but it's one of those things of, I'll forgive you, but I just don't forget and I don't feel like I can actually trust you because this was some petty crap that just put me down and put me out of my headspace, you know, and, and just was so overall negative. I ran this little game. It's a little horse racing game where you just draw pictures. It's kind of like a role play, but for horses. And it was generated like a sim using Google Documents. It was a fun little pastime game for me and my friends, you know, and other people who wanted to play. And this person and her friend ruined that whole situation over something very stupid and meant that was misunderstood. But I'll get into that into a new video because. That's just a whole different story time video. I just wanted to share what happened. Talk about my jammy pants. <sighs> I'm trying not to cry again. I'm 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 don't wanna cry. I don't wanna cry. I just got over a, a stress headache. I don't want another one. I know I look kinda awful. I had woke up not too long ago. And I figured I really needed to get this done. But I don't know when I'm supposed to, you know, I guess they'll give either him, but they'll probably call him, even though they're supposed to call my cell phone. Because normally he, my husband, you know, he works offshore. He is going to have his phone off. But uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to end up calling him. And they, so hopefully he gets you know, they leave a voicemail or something, or they call me and, because I really, really, really want to get his little personalized box, just like Georgie has a cute little personalized box with his name on it, Jam is going to have one too. I also told my husband, I said, I really hope they give a little card with a little prayer on it, like they did for Georgie with Jamie's little paw print, Jamie had small paws. I always make little jokes. I'm like, you got small feet. You got little feet. And he would always get his little grumpy face. And we would always laugh and stuff. But that's uh, basically what happened uh, from August till now. Which some more drama from the same person spewed out in September. But like I said, there'll be another video. But I just wanted to get that out and let y'all know that's basically what happened and now I'm down to I got three cats I'll have to extra spoil them especially Foley because I know he's I, I couldn't adopt them singly I had to adopt them together you keep siblings together that's just kind of my thought you know I didn't want to separate them so I adopted them together and I kind of thought they would be together and still be together. Jam really didn't get to live his full best life. Two years is not long at all. Two years is too short. I know he had two, two really good years, but the past few months just really wasn't good for him because he just, he was in so much pain. And this was supposed to be, this was supposed to be the thing that helped him from being in that pain. This was supposed to to help. This was supposed to give him, you know, the rest of his life that he can have. But I don't know what happened. Why he just stopped breathing. I'm like, he, he's just, he should be here. He should be, he should be sleeping somewhere. He should, you know, be home. This is Zoe. He should be 
somewheres. You know, he should be somewheres in this house. He should be home. He shouldn't be gone. He's not supposed to be gone. I was just talking about him. You know, I was just... I was so nervous for his surgery Monday. I was so nervous. I was... I was so scared for his surgery. I was I was so worried. And then I just I play World of Warcraft, so I just played that all morning. <laughs> I was playing World of Warcraft all morning and to get my mind off, you know, for the time to go by fast and and then that phone call. That was not the phone call I wanted I wanted at all. And then we're I'm just gonna, um, I have to, I have to go, uh, so I just wanted to update y'all, I know I keep saying that, I wanted to update y'all, I'm very sorry that I had to give a depressing video, I really am, it's just haven't really been a great year, and this year is just starting off not that great too, and I hope everyone have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later. I'll, I'll, I'll make some videos sometime. I don't know when. It's just right now is not really a good time currently. As you, you know, heard if you stuck through the video. Uh, so, bye.